What I'd like to do now is go ahead and introduce our speaker for this Acrobat Users e-seminar. Laurie DeFurio uh, needs little to no introduction. She is a world-renowned author, expert, blogger, speaker, educator, and she's been with Adobe now and involved for Acrobat for over 12 years. I think of her as a, as a friend and also my manager, but all of us think of her as dear Laurie. So Laurie, I'd like to hand it over to you, please. Thanks, Ali, and Happy New Year to everybody here that's on the call. Um, I'm very excited for what 2010 will bring and what we'll be able to do with our Acrobat user community this year. What I'm going to do is everything I'm doing, I'm going to do from my desktop, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen the entire time. I just wanted to share with that with you. So if you want to go into full screen mode, that's great if uh, it's easier for you to read the slides and or when I'm um, doing some software demonstration and describing some things in the product. Um, otherwise, if you're not in full screen mode, you can chat. As Ali mentioned, the files to download pod is right there on the right. So um, we'll, I'll talk about that in a second. So the first thing I want to do is, these are slides, but of course I've converted them to PDF so that we aren't going to be looking at PowerPoint today. And I originally presented this topic, I didn't know Acrobat could do that, at Adobe Max in November in Los Angeles. And you can see this, this was the layout of the slides that we used there. I've modified this slightly because this was a 90-minute session, hands-on, and I've modified it so to make it easier for uh, you to follow along today. First and foremost, before I get started, I do want to mention that in the file share pod, as Ali mentioned, it's in the lower left of your screen. There's some files in there, and if you click on the files individually and click Save to My Computer, you can download everything I'm doing today. Now, I wouldn't. Uh, you, you're welcome to download it now or the, throughout the time I'm talking. I'm going to go along fairly quickly, um, but the idea is that you'll have them for later, that you can go back and review anything that I've said or do what I've done. So what you have in there is the handout that we had at Max, which is a 26-page step-by-step instructions of everything I'm going to do, all the exercise files, and please note that's a 15 megabyte file. Of course, at Max they were preloaded on the computer, but here you'll just have a, a little bit of a download. I threw on an extra little file called Comment on Anything, and you'll see why in a minute. I'm going to show it to you and talk through it. And then I also put the slides that I'm presenting to you in the file share pod as well. That pod will be available now. If you do go into full screen mode, it's still there. And again, during the end when we have the Q&A, if you didn't get a chance to get the files now, we'll, you'll be able to get them again at that point in time. So uh, we just want to make sure that that was an option for you. You know, my goal in life, and especially around this community, is to help you learn how to get the most out of Acrobat. It's wonderful that you're an Acrobat user. I noticed that a lot of people are already on Acrobat 9, and it's awesome. But a lot of times people don't really know all the possibilities. And I'm hoping that I'll introduce something today that will be new to you, and you'll be like, wow, I didn't know Acrobat could do that. So the first topic we're going to cover is around reviewing electronic content, or like I like to call it, comment on anything. And the reason I say comment on anything is with the Acrobat 9 family, you truly can comment on anything that you can get into a PDF file. For example, text and graphics. Of course, that's the one that we know and love, and it's been there since Acrobat 3. You've got web pages. And I'll show you in a moment how to actually create a PDF from a web page. But additionally, once you've got the web page, you can comment on it. And it's a really easy environment now. Instead of trying to say to somebody, gee, I'm, I want you to fix that graphic near the lower left hand of the screen, just use one of your comment tools and, and highlight it. Um, video now, with the inclusion of the flash inside of Acrobat and Reader 9, we can just comment on the video. We can comment on flash applications that might be included as well, and I'll show you that in a moment. 3D, of course, we've had that around, and even maps, which we added also in Acrobat 9. So really, if you can get it inside of a PDF container, we can go ahead and add comments. And so what I'd like to do is I'm going to jump out of the slides right now for a moment, and I'm going to open up this file that you have there on the download called Comment on Anything. And what that is is it's a six-page file that has text and graphics, 
web pages, video, flash, 3D, and maps. And I want to just talk through each one of those individually. So as I mentioned, I am an acrobat, so I'll go out of full screen mode here. And again, the first page is text and graphics. And the thing I wanted to point out here is that you have all the commenting tools that are available to you in Acrobat. By default, we show these. You can always right click anywhere in the toolbar and say, show me all the commenting tools and show me all the drawing tools. And now you have all 20 possible tools uh, visible that you can work on the file, right? I could use them.